Hi, my name is Nadine from the channel Aligning Us. Today I'm reading to you from Emmett Fox's book, Around the Year, for July 10th, entitled Reciprocal Judgment. Read Matthew 7, verses 1 to 5. These few verses consist of only about 100 words, and yet it is hardly too much to say that at their simple face value, they comprise the most staggering document ever presented to mankind. In these five verses, we are told more about the nature of man and the meaning of life and the importance of conduct and the art of living and the secret of happiness and success and the way out of trouble and the approach to God and the emancipation of the soul and the salvation of the world than all the philosophers and the theologians and the savants put together have told us. For it explains the great law. Bump the rest of the books, for it is all in this one, would hold in reference to those words. People are very apt to think, especially when they are strongly tempted, that they can probably escape the clutches of authority in some way or other. If, however, they understood that the law of retribution is a cosmic law, impersonal and unchanging as the law of gravity, they would think twice before they treated other people unjustly. The law of gravity is never off duty and no one would ever dream of trying to evade it or coax it or bribe it or intimidate it. People accept it as being inevitable and shape their conduct accordingly. And the law of retribution is even as the law of gravity. You may like or dislike the law, and if you wish, you may try to ignore it. But you cannot deny that Jesus Christ taught it. And in the most direct and emphatic way, when he said, Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. Matthew 7, verses 1 to 2. Have a wonderful day.